All right, guys, we're here at Misfire Motorsports. You guys know that the road to SEMA was kind of riddled with tribulations. We got the old girl to prom. She ran, she cruised, we rolled her out. She's back here in the 405. One thing we wanted to do was we wanted to clean up the lines. We had uh, coolant lines running through, and at first it was the only way, it was the kind of the Gen 1 design to run the uh, the coolant lines through the cab, but we thought, man, if they busted open or something, if we had an issue, got in a wreck, we could have some, uh, we could have a boiling point issue. So we've hidden all the, the coolant lines into the, the transmission rod tunnel. We've got the, we've got the kind of the, the, the hybrid shifter in there. Um, and then we've got the other race seat for a passenger. Um, we still got to button up some things with the, with the back end. We got to cover up the firewall. Uh, we got some suspension, and as it kind of comes in with a brand new look, um, Steve Darnell, courtesy of, put a, a coolant pump because the lines run all the way from front to back. We have to have kind of a pusher motor to help kind of move some of the coolant uh, to the back of the engine to keep her cool. So a lot of guys aren't going to like this, but um, I don't really care. This is way more efficient. It's still a flat four, and quite honestly, we're not moving away from anything. This car is probably more California than it is German, um, and it was even with the air-cooled stuff. So we're not going backwards any. We've only been moving forward. So we got Misfire Motorsports, we got Ben West doing the tuning, and then Jeff Lutz is doing the fabrication, man. This thing's gonna be a different animal. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to relearn how to drive it. Misfire and Jeff Lutz, they teamed up to, to help kind of build the intercooler system. They know how Subarus like to breathe. So Jeff knows how to fab. We kind of uh, partnered up there and put all that together. Also, they don't make, uh, they don't make Subaru headers for Volkswagens. So you have, Jeff had to kind of come in here and kind of went old school with it. Uh, it's still hidden, it's not gonna drag the ground. Um, you could, you probably could fit a stock Subaru header and that's what had on it from Misfire, but it was dragging the ground a little bit. So Jeff, let's fab this up, put, a, put an equal length um, stainless works uh, header tube system on it. And Misfire's used one of their, one of their own intakes on it, it's fabbed up the turbo. So everything's pretty piped and ready, hot and cold. So we just gotta, we gotta tune it. We gotta make sure she's gonna do what she does. I gotta learn how to redrive it. And then we're gonna take her out and make some hits. She's back home.